Casey Lighting here with MMA Fighting, with um, Kendall Grove in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, what are you doing here in Biloxi, Mississippi? Running away from a hurricane. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, nah, um, well, no, I'm um, here to participate in this hopefully historic event, you know. Um, from This is the second show, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships, uh, putting on. Their first one did great, and uh, I'm just very privileged and happy to be a part of the second one and being a part of this organization and part of the growth of it. You know, I, I hope to contribute a little bit of something that fans like to see and uh, put my twist on it, and hopefully you guys see it Saturday night. Did you did you watch the first event? I didn't watch the whole event. I watched uh, some of Joey's fights. Um, uh, I watch. Uh, I'm not too good with names, but um, I watch uh, a lot of the highlights. Um, I loved it. I love. Uh, I automatically thought this is gonna catch on. Like people want to see this stuff. This is like the evolvement. Uh, like kind of coming full circle, you know. So I bare knuckle, got to boxing, MMA. Now we're going back because. I think fans are craving more, you know, and I think this is giving them what majority of the fans want to see is uh, um, chaos, you know, just guys standing there with their balls in their hand and just go, you know, you, you can't pull guard, you can't, like, you can grab, but that's only going to last for so long, you know, it's just mano a mano, hands, and I think, uh, I think it's going to blow up, and I'm just... Very happy to be a part of it. I'm excited to fight. Yeah, we're talking Chris Lido. He kind of gave me that same kind of reaction. Like this is, this feels like a fight and not a contest. Does that, is, does that kind of feel like that way to you? Is it? Yeah. Well, last time, last time I fought bare knuckle was like a couple years out of high school. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I, I didn't think it was legal, but. Um, so this is but your first legal. First yeah. legal bare knuckle, uh, bare knuckle fight. But no. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure these are the same emotions you get from a fight, but it's elevated a little bit more just because it's bare knuckle, you know? Like, it's, it's still a fight, but just the illusion of it makes it more exciting, more nerve-wracking, more awesome. Yeah, actually, how are, like, how are the nerves a couple of days out? Is it different from an MMA fight, or...? Uh, it's still it's kind of the same, but just, again, a little... Everything is different. Different sport. It's a combat sport, but it's a different sport. It's not MMA. This is bare knuckle boxing. You know, it's not boxing. It's bare knuckle boxing. So now you got to worry about where am I going to punch you? Am I going to punch you wild? Am I going to just swing wild? How's my footwork? So you got to kind of pick your shot. You got to be smarter. You got to be a chess player, not a checker player. You know what I mean? So I feel like I don't know. This is awesome. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. Can you kind of talk about that? Um, I've heard people say that, you know, maybe people who don't know about the sport, they think, oh, this is more brutal. But you just said it's actually more technical. Do you, yeah. Like well, it's more technical. Honestly, I was just talking to Chris, too, and we both agreed this is uh, easier to get ready for. You know, obviously, uh, less stress uh, on our minds and our bodies, especially our bodies. We ain't got to worry about wear and tear on wrestling and anything else. On top of that, mentality going in, uh, um, with your striking, uh, you spent the whole camp working on your striking, so you know that you ain't got to worry about nothing else. That footwork, head movement, whatever, whatever you got to do to not get hit and finish the guy, you know. And but now you gotta think. I can't just punch you in the back of the head or on top of the head. I'll break my hand. I break my hand now while I'm fighting you with one hand. That gives you more of an opportunity to whoop my ass, embarrass me in front of everybody. So now you just, I don't know. For me, that that's what I got when I, when I seen it and I was like, oh, I want to be a part of this. My brain instantly is like, okay, how would I fight? I can't, like, I got weak, frail hands. I can't just swing. So then I started getting into a more strateg strategical approach to it, you know, like, a lot of jabs, a lot of long punches, rangy punches, footwork, head movement, feints, and uh, I love it. You know, the last five years I've been uh, really into boxing, and so that kind of helped transition. It was an easier transition, and I think just me being over MMA for now, you know, taking a break, uh, got me more excited for this, you know, because it's, it's like that carrot in front of the rabbit, like, okay, I haven't fought since January, so this is like feeding, like, the inner 
fighter in me, you know what I mean? So I get to go have fun, I get to go do what I love to do on Saturday. Just no takedowns, no grappling, just mano y mano, knuckle up, and may the best fighter wins. May the best, smarter fighter win.